The International Experience Canada 2023 season is now open, giving international youth the chance to work and travel in Canada. In this video we will discuss in detail what is International Experience Canada and how can you apply for it. So make sure you watch the video till end to familiarize yourself with the program. IEC supports Canadian employers in finding the workers they need, including an additional 90,000 international youth who will be eligible this year to come and work in Canada. The IEC allows young people from participating countries to work and travel in Canada for up to two years. The program is designed to promote cultural exchange and help young people gain international work experience. The IEC program has three different categories or streams for which young people can apply. Working holiday, this category is for individuals who want to work and travel in Canada for up to two years. No specific job offer is required, but participants must have enough funds to support themselves while in Canada. Young professionals, this category is for individuals who have a job offer from a Canadian employer and want to work in Canada. For up to two years, this stream requires a recognized organization to validate the job offer. International internship, this category is for students or recent graduates who want to gain international work experience in their field of study. This stream requires a recognized organization to validate the internship offer. Eligibility for IEC varies depending on the stream and the applicant's country of citizenship. In general, participants must be between the ages of 18 and 35 and meet certain education and language requirements. For some countries, the age limit is 18 to 29 or 30 years old. Citizens of the following countries are eligible for IEC. Australia, Austria, Belgium, Chile, Costa Rica, Croatia, Czech Republic, Denmark, Estonia, France, Germany, Greece, Hong Kong, Ireland, Italy, Japan, Korea, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Malta, Mexico, Netherlands, New Zealand, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, Taiwan, Ukraine, United Kingdom. If your country is not listed, you may still qualify by way of support from a recognized organization. You should connect with a recognized organization to learn about other travel and work opportunities in Canada. One of the R. Recognized organization is International Association for the Exchange of Students for Technical Experience. It offers opportunities in technical career-related jobs and support two types of work permits, Young Professionals for Career Development and International Internship for Students. This is the only organization that not only supports the IEC countries but also IAEST country partners. Visit their website and it is likely that your country is listed at which point you will contact the local offices of the IAEST in your home country for assistance. There is a non-refundable processing fee of Canadian dollars 161 for IEC applications and the current processing time is six weeks. It's important to note that an IEC work permit does not guarantee permanent residence in Canada and participants must leave Canada at the end of their authorized stay. You can work in many different areas. It depends what you want to do and how hard you want to look for a job. Many participants find work in the tourism and hospitality industries, where employers are willing to offer temporary work for shorter periods of time. If you have the right education, experience or certifications, you can also work in fields such as science, law, health, education, commerce, and communications. You can visit Job Bank Canada website to find jobs across Canada and to see the qualifications that employers are looking for. If you apply under the Young Professionals category, the job you're offered must count toward your professional development. To count, the job must be classified under Training, Education, Experience and Responsibilities Category 0, 1, 2 or 3 of the National Occupational Classification. The IEC applications for work permit are submitted online. You will need a valid credit card and the ability to upload documents to apply online. As such, you cannot mail your application or submit it in person, and you cannot use the services of a visa application center in your home country to submit your application. A number of applicants are interested to know whether their spouse or common law partner get a work permit under International Experience Canada to come with them. The answer is no. If your spouse or common law partner wants to work in Canada, they have two options. They can submit a profile to the International Experience Canada program. They will have to meet the requirements and follow the application steps if they are invited to apply for a work permit. Or, they can apply for a work permit outside the IEC program. 
For both options, IRCC will assess your spouse's or common law partner's work permit application separately from yours. If your spouse or common law partner is not eligible for a work permit, they may be able to come to Canada as a visitor. So, how long will it take to get an International Experience Canada invitation to apply? It depends on the International Experience Canada pool you are in. Invitations to apply are issued in the following order. International Internship young professionals, working holiday, candidates with a profile in these pools will usually receive an invitation to apply as long as spots are available. Working holiday candidates could be in the pool for several weeks or months. IRCC randomly selects candidates from the pool and invite them to apply for a work permit. All candidates in the pool have an equal chance of being invited. It is also possible that you will not receive an invitation to apply before the end of the season. Some candidates use a recognized organization. Only candidates with a recognized organization acceptance letter receive an invitation to apply. If you are using a recognized organization and you are not sure if you need a letter, you can ask your recognized organization for help. Check out the links provided in the description of this video to get more information on IEC application process. And remember, always refer to the official website of the Government of Canada for authentic and reliable information. Good luck and we hope to seeing you in Canada under this category if you meet the requirements discussed in this video.